I'm going to demonstrate the uh, technique for injecting the Q uh, medication, which is always kept in the refrigerator. So when you're ready to do the injection, take it out of the refrigerator and it's thick and you want to definitely shake it up really well. So shake it up really good. And then because it's thick, we use two different needles, a larger needle to take it out of the vial and then a smaller needle to inject ourselves. So we take the cap off like that. And then we take one of the alcohol prep. Everything is in our little kit here. Have all the syringes and the different size needles. We wipe off the top of the vial. And then we take our three cc syringe and put the larger needle, which is the 21 gauge. We attach it just like that. And then I like to pull the plunger back to two because we're going to be taking two cc's out and it's just easier if you do it in a vacuum and we'll be taking it out in kind of a back and forth motion. So when I take the vial, I put the needle in the middle of the rubber. Now I kind of go back and forth, take a little out like that. And then make sure the needle's right at the very tip and then I have all of the, taking everything out from the vial. Then we replace the needle with the smaller needle. So we go from the 21 gauge to the 25 gauge. The 25 gauge is blue and put it on like this. And then we're going to inject it into the hip. And really the hip is the best place to inject it. There'll be virtually no pain. You won't feel it at all. You can do it in the arm, um, but that's, I think there's no advantage in that. So I think really the hip is the best place to do it. You can do it on the side of the leg if you want, but I'm gonna do it on the hip. And um, so we take the alcohol prep that we used before, and we use that to wipe off the skin. So we're just gonna wipe the skin you want in the, outer part of the upper outer part part of the buttock right there like that and we take our medicine and we just take the needle very very quickly and poke it in you won't feel a thing boom just like that and then we squirt it in and then as soon as it's done pull out real fast if by any chance there's a little bit of blood there we would take our alcohol and hold pressure for 30 seconds or so and then we're done